Oh, hello, and welcome to Fashion Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith, and I'm here as always with Marcy Carmack. Today we're at the New York Public Library. Uh, you know, as always at Fashion Coffee Hour, um, our general thesis has emerged as our guest panelist over these last few months as the idea that fashion really brings beauty into the world, and uh, fashion and beauty drive drive culture and culture uplifts and elevates people spiritually, economically, and emotionally. So I can't think of a better place to be, uh, Marcy, than in New York City today at the New York Public Library. Why don't you introduce the topic of Mark Jacobs while I, while I queue up the video? Mark Jacobs kicked off the return to Fashion Week um, in, a, in a real life form <laughs> and not video. So. Um, everyone gathered and was very excited. There was a lot of energy, and he just knocked it out of the park. And uh, columnist uh, Vanessa Friedman from the New York Times, she really, I thought she framed it really in a lovely way, the idea that it's a transitional show, and not transitional like you might think of as summer to fall, but transitional in the idea that we're emerging from our cocooning, kind of hunkering into safety mode from the pandemic into this new period of emerging freedom and liberation. So I thought that was a fun thing to keep in mind, nice way to frame the show. And you might, you might keep that in mind as you watch this uh, short runway at the New York Public Library as the models do emerge, very cocooned, very uh, ensconced with layers of puffy apparel and they slowly uh, discard and emerge in the second part of the show into a more liberated sense. Butterfly. Marcy and I both appreciated the space. That was a lovely, lovely setting. I'll have comments on that. The music, I particularly particularly enjoyed. Marcy found it a bit daunting, but I found it hauntingly lovely. So we'll take a look at the show now. Marcy will give us some, some commentary. So I was immediately excited to see the library. I mean, it just really brought back great memories. And Marcy, the New York Public Library is often the site of uh, New York Fashion Week and runway shows, is that correct? Not New York Fashion Week, but runway shows, yeah. And the neighboring Bryant Park is also a setting. Lincoln Center was for a while. It's been all of a city. These reminded me of Stephen Sprouse. Black and white graphic, sort of graffiti-like. And he was known for using words and graffiti in art and in fashion and uh, sexual art. Well, it made for a nice pattern for Mark Jacobs. Yeah, new logo, logo, go, go. <laughs> and, you know, there's op art. There's just a lot to look at. And certainly over scale, that's, that's obvious, right? Yes. You mentioned that these are, these are basically they are often described as unwearable. Is that what you're describing this as? Unwearable? Uh, they, like are, unwearable? They, are, they are unwearable. So they're concept pieces. Concept pieces. And it, his new collection called Heaven that he's focusing on. But this is a conceptual collection that <clears throat> will only be available for Dirk Goodman. Your other favorite place. I love for Dirk Goodman. And then the use of these these payettes. He was inspired by Courage. And yes, they're a bit oversized, but oversized, but Courage did pretty big ones too. And the payettes are the round disc-like iridescent spheres, right? Or surfaces, right? Well, I was especially intrigued by those because they're used in a way that is fashion, accessory, and jewelry all at the same time. There you go. I, I appreciate it because I thought it, I thought it is a metaphor, as is the the interior space of the library, which is constructed of marble as wall and floor, creating a space. So it's the same idea of materials being used to create something very cohesive and whole. So now we're starting to see a little skin, a little bit of the caterpillar coming out. And 
There are a lot of these stoles dragging on the ground. And a lot of gloves. Elbow length or higher. And as Vanessa Friedman also says, these are metaphor gloves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> metaphor gloves. The story of reemergence told in crazy couture scale ski wear. Yeah, I hadn't thought of the uh, description of ski wear, but that, that is obvious, I guess, isn't it? And that sort of brings back the hood hasn't gone very far because there's the hoodie. <laughs> I again like the, the music very much. The idea of the the ebb tide and the flood tide, the receding and the proceeding, and the idea of the past. You know, we think of that as something we just need to get away from, but the past is always with us and it's always receding at the same time as we move forward. And I, I think that's a metaphor for the show. The music is a, is a great uh, complement to the stage. Mm -hmm. I love the eyelashes. I want some. I think even the even young man had eyelashes, I believe. Yeah, there's some gender irreverence. I wonder if Mark makes a payette tie for men. That'd be kind of a fun concept piece, wouldn't it? Yeah. Might be kind of hard to tie, but... You know, those kind that just <laughs> clip onto your shirt. Well, I see, this is fashion coffee or we cannot say clip on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great op art piece that is wearable. You can wear that to a gala. <clears throat> well, I see, you think the head covering, the face covering is going to be a staple or an element that will stick with us for quite some time in the future? Fashion accessory, oddly Which enough. One? Just in general, the head covering and face covering or shawl on our head, is that really something I that mean, maybe we... before the pandemic seemed foreign to us in the Western world that we're gonna see that as something we're gonna incorporate? Yeah, perhaps. I mean I was seeing a lot of just caps when you were talking at first. Which of course that there he is. Mr. Mark Jacobs himself and his Ever stylish, overscale platform shoes. Thank you, Mark, and thank you, Marcy, for walking us through that. That was really intriguing and lovely, and I said hauntingly lovely, but I like a little hauntingly lovely now and then. Marcy, any important takeaways uh, from the show for us today, besides the are... metaphor for where we are, somewhere in between the past and the future? I think there are a lot of takeaways or ideas, inspiration for everyday clothes. Um, for me, it's color. I'm combining it in new ways <laughs> so I can wear it over and over again, as opposed to a red dress that you buy for a ball and you go get to wear it once. Well, my takeaway was that you can't always tell a book by its cover. And sometimes you need to conceal even the very best ideas in order for them to be revealed. So. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody uh, Monday this evening, Monday evenings, as always, at 6 p.m. Central Time for Fashion Coffee Hour. Thank you so much.